I'm scared. I love you. It'll be all right, my darling. I love you. I'm Jules Davenport, and this is the story of my journey through breast cancer treatment. I made this series for you. This is the cancer video that I wished I'd had to watch before embarking on my own treatment. I'm a firm believer that knowledge dispels fear, positivity builds resilience, and laughter is the best medicine. Oncology. Or shazily. Doctor? Yes, it is. That's my doctor. Is he? <laughs> Oncology, here we come. Before I commenced my first round of chemo, I had to take my pre meds, fill out mountains of forms, and I got to watch an introductory welcome to cancer treatment video. So I thought I'd give the cooling cap a whirl in some sort of attempt to salvage my hair. And in the spirit of tackling extreme anxiety, I kind of resorted to clowning around. I don't think I've got on the right way. No, it looks great. Does it? Oh, babe. Oh, oh, wait, let me hide the tags. That doesn't look very good. I think that's the one. Insta it. Hello, my darlings. I've just had my first round of chemo and I went and got myself some new hair. How do I look? No, just no. Well, that was the hardest doorbell I've ever had to press. scalp cooling treatment you're only allowed to use wide tooth combs no more brushes because it pulls on your hair too much you spray your hair wet and then you put on this conditioner it stops your hair from sticking to the the insides of the cap oh i see yeah I've been talking to my wife. <laughs> it's pretty funny. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Oh, it's cold. I mean, that shouldn't be a shock. It's called a cold cap, but wow, that is weird. It doesn't feel like a normal so brain freeze, you know, where it's like, like that. It's like tingly. It works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But at least I tried. And I looked mighty fine doing it. Got my cold cap on and I'm ready to go. The chemo's about to commence. All set. All set. It's a red one first. Yep. Red fluid. Makes you do reddish orange wee wees. Ice therapy. Helps with the sores in your mouth. It stops them from being so bad. I get icy poles. That's all right. so weird how, how fast this has happened. Like it just felt like yesterday I heard I had cancer and today I'm sitting here getting chemo. We're in the middle of the outback, I've got a phone call. It's cancer, it's not good, you have to come straight in. Just didn't expect it. Feel alive, that's why you went to your gym. Yep. Mm -hmm. Had my mammograms and ultrasounds and biopsies. My tongue is cold and I can't talk anymore. <laughs> Cold cap. It is really cold. It starts. It feels all right, but it makes your sinuses around your eyes and under your nose and so on hurt, like under here. It's kind of coursing through my body now and making me freeze. Oh, headache. I'm not complaining. This is got. This is what's going to keep me alive.
getting a migraine. The lights are really bright. The migraines worn off a bit. They gave me some neurofen. So that's helped and because it's taken a bit of the edge off, I now want to just get to sleep. I'm nearly done. I made it. I'm good. Do it. Yeah. I'm not very good at taking this off, am I? <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice hair, dude. Yeah. yeah. Ooh. Oh, it's like frozen. It's hair. it's 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 Ding, ding, ding. Round one of chemo is done. Second round of chemo. Bit nervous today because I know what to expect. When you first get home from chemo, you feel okay and you, um, you're cold and you're exhausted and everything like that. The next morning, well, last time I woke up with a red face, like it was like this bright fuchsia pink face, and I had to put a cold ice pack on it. But then you have to have this injection in your stomach, and it helps your bones to produce lots and lots of white blood cells because they all get killed off during chemo, and that is what makes me sick. That gives me the aches and pains, you know, flu, lethargy. I know a bit more what to expect. Thank you very okay, much. Okay, no problem. See ya. Kingy mo, kingy mo, kingy mo. Yes, let's do it. <sighs> now I'm exhausted, but see, you do bounce back from it. I'm feeling good now. <laughs> the lights out. <laughs> it's really cold. It's freezing. I was able to cope a little bit better last time, but this, the, the cap is like literally just sit there with like as many ice packs as you can find and just shove them on your head and see how long you can tolerate it for. My head's spinning. Smile, even though your head is hurting. Best medicine. See, I have a migraine. Apparently my hair, if it's going to fall out, will happen in the next couple of days. This is one big dreadlock. Look at it. It's done. Bye now. There's no keeping my hair. I had to go through this journey of doing the cold cap and being really gentle with my hair and it wasn't working. It's time for it to go. It's time to do it. Let's hack at it. <laughs> oh my god. I'm actually not as sad as I thought I would be. I'm probably just going to laugh my head off. This is going to be so funny. Well. Time for the new jewels. Let's go, let's do it, babe. Let's go. This one's for you, babe. 
points for my Aaron. All right, you ready, babe?
definitely, definitely recommend doing the cap. I did the full gamut of the experience. You get to the point where you are happy to let your hair go because it doesn't feel like your hair anymore. I just feel like I'm just getting a whole rebirth, like a whole new start. And that's the gift that cancer does bring is you get a new start and you get to know who you are for the first time. It's true. Ha <laughs> ha!